Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a first impressions and a wear test on the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And we're going to be going through it, talking about the claims, obviously the wear, coverage, application, all the good things. So if that sounds like something you're into, hang tight because we're going to get into it in just one second. But I do like to pause really quick at the beginning for anybody that might be new here, introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then of course for anybody that might be new here, maybe you've never seen one of my videos, but I am currently trying to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second. If you're not following me over there yet, please go down into the description box and you know click the link, follow me. Uh, just so again, so I can get to 10,000, I would really like the swipe up feature in my Insta story. For me, that's just a feature that would be super helpful. That way I can link you know my earrings or my shirts or videos that I'm talking about, whatever I'm referencing in my day to day. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier for us to kind of have that. That way you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, it, it just would help me out a lot. So again, if you haven't done so yet, please go follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. And also in terms of content on Instagram, I do love to post things in like my day-to-day -day feed. So if you are into plus size fashion, you're looking for more just like casual daytime wear, um, makeup inspiration, like makeup looks, makeup IGTVs, anything like that, I do post pretty regularly over there. So really, if you want to get to know me, you want to see more of me outside of, you know, YouTube, if you want to take polls, participate that way. That is where everything like that happens. So definitely make sure, again, go down in the description box, check it out. But from there, I don't have anything else to say. So let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, you guys. So we're good and zoomed in. I just a couple of things I want to mention. Number one, if my eyes look red, kind of puffy, that whole situation. Um, and, and those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, but I am having some insanely awful allergies right now. And uh, my eyes are definitely bearing the blunt of it. They just look, <laughs> they look really rough. So just, you know, thing number one, I want to mention it. I'm not having like any weird reactions. It's just, well, I, I am having a weird reaction. You know, it's like me to the air um, and my, my face, like my eyeballs, they're just not loving it. So that's number one. And number two, in terms of this face, I just want you guys to know I did go ahead and prime already. And for that, I just used the Tatcha liquid silk canvas. This is one of my favorites and I love using it, especially when I'm testing out a new foundation, just because it's a good neutral base. So that already happened. But anyways, from there, I want to go in and start reading about this foundation because I am just going to pull it up on the NARS website. That is where I purchased it. And we're just going to run through some of the specs. So this is, like I said, the Soft Matte Complete Foundation retails for $40. And something that I actually thought was really awesome with this is that for the price, you get 1.5 fluid ounces. And the normal amount of foundation is one fluid ounce, like that's the standard. And so to get 1.5 fluid ounces, you're actually getting 50% more for $40, which is like the standard price for a higher end foundation. So I was pretty excited about that. Anyways, moving down into the description here, it says that the details on this, it is a medium to full buildable coverage. It gives you a natural soft matte finish, 16 hour wear, oil free, oxidation resistant, which is a big one, especially on my pasty ass because y'all, y'all, things oxidize on me so bad so fast. Um, it is shine proof, transfer proof, humidity proof, sweat proof, and apparently it protects from pollution and blue light. And then in terms of color, I went with light to Mont Blanc, which is the same color that I wear in their natural radiant foundation. And I really like it. It works well for me. I, I will say like in the winter when I'm the palest of pale, it is a little bit dark, but I figured it would be a good comparison. I'm used to using it and I really, really like the undertone. So that is the shade I went with for this foundation as well. And I actually, oh my God, I really like this packaging. It has like this really nice soft touch feel to it, but at the same time, it's like, like a really good material. It just feels really nice in your hands, but it's still like that squeezy tube. Yeah. Squeezy tube situation. Oh shit. <laughs> it's very liquidy. Okay, that, that was an accident. But to go in first, I'm just gonna grab a little bit here on a sponge and we're going to go this route first because this is just my normal route. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. And that like, damn, that color is like kind of, kind of freaking perfect. Okay. And this really works itself into the skin like very, very fast. Um, like it, it took almost no time to blend that out. It looks beautiful. Coverage is kind of fantastic. The other side, I do want to grab it on a brush and I'm going to go in with the Laura Lee Los Angeles L11 foundation brush. I did get this brush in PR, but let me just tell you, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. I love this brush so much. She did such a good job on these. Like, look at that. Come on. Are you kidding me? It just spreads like a freaking dream. It looks so good. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm being punked a little bit because this foundation 
and just worked in so effortlessly, brush or sponge. And you know, even in terms of the coverage with this, I'm super impressed because it did go on and give me more like straight high medium coverage. I definitely think you can build it to be more full. Anyways, from there, I'm gonna go in with a little concealer. This is the Clinique, what is this? All over, yeah, the even better all over concealer. And I have this in the shade CN02 Breeze. And for anybody that may have missed it, I did do a full first impressions wear test, all the good things on this, which I will link up there. Then with the concealer laid down, I'm gonna go in and set just the under eyes and through the T-zone. And for that, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty Loose Setting Powder. This is just in the shade Butter. So at this point, we're sitting here, we have, like I said, the under eyes and the T-zone set. But for anybody that might be new to my foundation reviews, I really like to pause before I set the rest of my face. And I like to just do a little touch test on the foundation, really look at it up close, and just kind of see how things are looking, how they feel. Just in case you have dry skin, maybe you don't like to set your face, like whatever the case is, I just wanna give you as much much information as possible and guys I am so freaking impressed I never would have thought like that this was dried down on my skin because it feels so unbelievably comfortable but like has the most soft it is just a soft matte texture on the skin and it is like I said dried down but it's not uncomfortable and it's giving me a slight amount of transfer I honestly think that if I gave this like another five or ten minutes it would be mostly dried down I'm talking the consistency of this if you wanted to use um, like even a light finishing powder like maybe an hourglass ambient finishing powder something like that where you could get that light glow you could get kind of the best of both worlds but still get the tiniest amount of powder I really just don't feel like with this foundation that you're gonna need to really lock it in with a more robust powder At least not from what I'm seeing um, So so for me, that's something I really like I think it's good information but for me to set down the entire face I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way powder This is in the shade cloud and this is obviously the powder that I use a lot And I'm just gonna make sure with this that I go in with a little bit more of a light hand because I just I don't want to Over powder it, but I still want to make sure that I'm you know being consistent and giving myself the best chance of making making the foundation last all day. All right, you guys, so at this point with the powder and everything set down, I am gonna run off of camera and uh, finish up the rest of the face really quickly. But just something to note, like I am so impressed. I feel like this looks beautiful on my skin. Like everything about it, it has such a smoothing texture. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna run off of camera and do the rest of my face and obviously I'll stop back on. We'll talk about how things are going. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, beautiful people, so I am back. Obviously the rest of the makeup is on, which we will get into the details of all of this here in a second. But before we do anything else, of course I wanna throw up the up close, let you guys see how everything is really pressing into the skin. And at this point, I definitely think I'm noticing a little bit more of that soft matte coming through, like I mentioned. You know, my, my skin and like my natural oils, the heat from my skin really does come together with foundations and I feel like you get a truer sense after it's been a minute. So for this up close, I definitely think you're getting a more accurate read. And as of right now, the only negative that I'm having, and this is like the only thing, it's kind of been there since the beginning, and that's more so just on the sides of my nose, like right in this little crack region right there on both sides. And it seems to be more of like a, a separation kind of issue, like for some reason, and it just doesn't want to cling there. That could be a primer thing. Like that, that's stuff that I can work out. But in every other sense of, you know, the foundation, I actually think it looks really nice, especially over like my cheek regions right through here. Everything is looking very smooth. Even on my forehead, things are looking pretty good. Um, I'm noticing a little bit of like slight settling up in like my big old hole crinkle right there, my big old hulky man crease. But other than that, everything seems to be looking good. It's, it's definitely the kind of foundation, at least from, again, my, just my first impression, my first thought where I feel like the longer it's on the skin, the better I'll be able to judge. And just a couple things to mention, which everything on my face will be linked down below, but I just wanna let you guys know, in case you're curious, you know, what else I'm wearing. The blush I went in with the Kaleidos Duo Blusher right here. This is in the shade Lo-Fi Peach, and it's this really nice mixture. I did mix the two, so it has like this nice kind of peachy pink shimmer situation, so that is the blush you are seeing. And then for highlight, I actually chose two because I wanted to have a little bit more dimension, so I went in first with the Burberry highlight. This is in nude gold number two. It just gives me this really nice kind of all over pearl eye sheen. It's a beautiful, beautiful tone. On top of that, I wanted something with a little bit more punch. So I added the Kaleidos Ray Rider highlight and this is in the shade number three Space Age. Then here's the thing. You guys know that I love neutrals, right? Like I'm always wearing neutral browns and neutral pinks and just the easiest. Hell, even before I went off of camera, I was like, I'm going to live my best neutral life. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, because I looked down and I saw all of this tie dye cuteness and I 
needed something fun. Like I just wanted that little bright pop, just that little something extra. But anyways, to get this adorable eye look, I went in with the Escape Pod palette from Kaleidos, which this was sent to me, which actually I don't think I mentioned this. Everything from Kaleidos I've talked about was sent to me in PR. I used, what did I use here? I put this one all over the lid. This is just like a lighter kind of bone colored cream shade. Mixed this medium kind of cool tone brown with this really, really deep warm brown. Mixed those together. That's through the crease and on the outer V just to give me that little extra, you know, definition, that little extra lift to the eye. And then all over the main green that you're seeing is this green right here. And then just to add to that green, I added on a little bit of this one in the inner corner. And look at how beautiful those freaking shades are. Oh my God, they're so good, you guys. I love them so much. I used a pencil here. This is in my upper and lower waterline. This is from Wayne Goss. It is his Essential Eye Coal Pencil in the shade Precious Opal. I think from there, the only other item I'm wearing on the eyes is my Chanticai Mascara. And then on the lips all by itself, I am wearing the KKW Nude Number no. 7 lipstick. Anyways, you guys, at this point, I don't have anything else to report. So I'm going to go ahead off of camera, do the rest of my day. Obviously, I'll stop on at the end. And uh, we will talk about it, do the up close and all the good things. So hang tight and I will be right back. All right, you guys. So obviously, I decided to do this video a little differently. As I'm sure you can tell, it is not later on in the exact same day. Um, what ended up happening, just to give you a brief run through, is I was wearing that foundation, you know, just as I had applied it. And I got to our like five, six ish. And I realized that it was looking really, really bad. But again, I still wanted to give it a fair wear test. So I did come in here at the eight hour mark. I think it was like eight, eight and a half hours maybe. But I still came in here and I did get an up close of how the foundation was looking, which I'll go ahead and throw up on the screen for you. Um, obviously, the up close, it is very dark because it was much later in the day when I filmed the up close. But you can definitely see, I mean, regardless of lighting, that the foundation just did not look good. Like it didn't look good in any way, shape or form. Um, I think maybe the only good thing, like the one tiny highlight I could pull from it is that over my cheek region, it did look okay. But again, aside from that, there really wasn't much good to speak of. And so what I decided to do kind of going into today is I wanted to play around with this foundation another way because the one thing I kept going back to with that foundation as the day progressed was actually how dry it felt. Like just on my skin, it felt very like almost kind of hard feeling. And, and I've said this a thousand times to you guys, I'm a big texture person. Um, how things wear and like sit and feel on my skin is one of the most important. And that's one of the reasons that I love the Catrice HD Full Coverage. I know it has nothing to do with this, but it is something I've referenced a lot in the past. Um, just that this foundation, it's a very, very thin, thin viscosity, like super thin um, in terms of how it feels on your face. And ultimately the result of that viscosity is that as the day wears on, I really don't feel it. I don't notice it. It doesn't feel thick or heavy or chunky, cakey, anything like that. It just feels very, almost like a full coverage second skin, which I really enjoy. So I wanted to play around with this NARS foundation again and just see if there was any way that I could get the thinness and again the, the thin kind of runny viscosity of this foundation to work for me in the same kind of way as the Catrice one works for me. And so what I ended up doing, I did take a couple of clips. I'll go ahead and start throwing those up on the screen. But for today, I did still go in with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, again, just as a nice neutral base. I decided to play around a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is kind of like a glowy kind of serum you can add under your foundation. And I really like to add it to the high points of my cheeks just to give me kind of that really, really beautiful lit from within kind of glow from the skin. And after that, I decided to head straight in with the foundation and I applied it all over the face just with a sponge. And it's true, just like yesterday, the application was beautiful, very easy, very seamless, very quick process. And then from there for concealer, I added the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and the Fenty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Butter, just the same usual situations, kind of under the eye and through the T-zone. And then going into the rest of the face, obviously you guys know I do set everything, but like I had mentioned, because of that like really aggressive, harsh kind of matte dry down, I wanted to be super mindful of just how much powder I applied where and what kind. So instead of going in with my normal like Too Faced powder or any other kind of foundation-y, you know, thick powder, I decided instead to play around with this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Ethereal Light Powder. This is just a really beautiful, thin, um, very lightweight kind of finishing powder. And it's the kind of powder that adds just a slight little satin finish to your skin. And just in terms of kind of comparing, you know, this current situation with this powder routine versus yesterday with, you know, obviously what you guys saw me use. I do think that we are headed in the right direction because right around my mouth, like this area specifically, um, my laugh lines looked really, really bad. Like I'm talking really bad. And they were awful by like hour two. Like it's not something where it took a long time to progress. And ultimately this whole kind of breakdown situation around the mouth, the forehead, that whole thing, that
that was the reason that I wanted to continue the first impression because with most foundations I can kind of you know get a feel for them the texture how they're gonna wear and because I've tested so many of them like I just I kind of can tell you know as things progress with this foundation there was just something that hit a little bit different like I, I could just tell that it needed to be experimented with a little bit more but anyways that all being said let's go ahead really really quickly and throw up the up close of how things are looking right now I don't think we've done that yet at this point I'm gonna go ahead run off of camera I actually have another video to film and I will stop back on here at the end of the day so hang tight and I will be right back okay beautiful people so here's the thing <laughs> if you follow me over on Instagram oh my god I can't even hear myself if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know like a lot more of what's going on right now. But essentially, I am like ridden to this couch. I'm having some really bad sinus issues. And also my dog is very upset. So we're currently snuggling on the couch and I don't really have the option to get up and go do like a normal check-in, but I still wanted to stop in. I know it's just my camera phone, but I still wanted to stop in and give you guys kind of an update and let you know how things are going with this foundation because I have been wearing it at this point for about eight, nine-ish hours. And I think compared to yesterday, it is going a lot better, especially if we're talking like the thick kind of cakey type situation all around my mouth, like that definitely improved um you know with the different powder methods so that's going in the right direction I can't see like as detailed as you'd normally be able to see like on a regular camera but I still wanted to you know just try to pull you in so you can see like right through here like yes my smile lines are definitely still there but they're nowhere near as bad as they were in like the last close-up the, from the one that I did yesterday but I think the trade-off for that for me given that I'm combo leaning oily is that now because I have less powder on my face I I am noticing that like my face feels um, a lot more oily and it does look a lot more oily like you can even see like the shine on the sides of my nose you can definitely see a shine on my nose um, and then even like on my chin a little bit like right through here I just have a lot of excess oil kind of poking through and so what I think I'm going to do, which by the way, I did also take just as a side note, um, I took some photos earlier, um, well, not earlier, like maybe an hour or so ago, and I tried to take them with like portrait mode. That way you guys could see a little more detail and I'll make sure to put those up on the screen as well because, you know, I figured if, if this is the only information I can give you, I want to try and give you as much as possible. But I think what I'm going to do um, is actually wear this foundation one more day and I'm going to turn this into a um, three days, three different ways foundation review test which is obviously I just try it three different days and I try you know multiple ways to make it work for me and I think for tomorrow we're going to focus more on like the primer aspect of it and instead of going with you know anything that has like that do or even a satin finish I might kind of change course and go with something a little bit more grippy or even a little bit more mattifying so I'm going to go ahead and retire myself for the evening um, at some point I'm going to get up and wash all this off because I <laughs> I really need to wash my face um, and I'm so tired I just don't even want to move but I'm gonna go take care of that and I will see you guys in the morning all right hello fantastic people what is up welcome to day three of our three days three ways foundation review um, I decided to do today very differently because what well, between work technology and just everything going on um, I haven't really had a ton of time to sit down just in front of the camera but I still wanted to obviously get you guys the information and the up close so what we're gonna be doing for today I did obviously take an up close this morning after I got ready and I decided to switch up the primer like I had mentioned in my last little segment I think last time I saw you guys I was half dead on a couch um but I did like I said in that little clip I wanted to play around with the primer and so for today I decided to go in with the milk makeup hydro grip I think for today like just in terms of this isolated you know kind of wear um I do think the foundation looks good like if I had to say for me with an oily t-zone I think that it wore the best and I think a lot of that has to do with me trying to find some balance for the oil on my t-zone like that seems to be the one thing that keeps fighting me and I just figured that one would give me that little bit of grip like that little extra staying power through the t-zone but it would also give me kind of that hydro factor but something that I noticed that I thought was very interesting with this foundation is that it really reacts to any change in the level of like satin or even hydration that it's coming into contact 
with. So for me personally, as someone that does kind of rely on powders and being able to manipulate that more mattified base, um, I don't think that this is necessarily the foundation for me because for me, that was the main area where I struggled. Again, just really trying to get, and like even today, you can see there is a lot of shine coming off of this nose. Um, but just trying to get that under control was probably the main thing for me. Like I felt like when I added more powder, it looked awful, but then taking away the powder, trying to play with the primer, I also, you know, still didn't get like the best wear going on. Like I just couldn't get much longevity out of it. And then the other issue that I had, and I think this might be just like a me issue, but on the sides of my nose, I, well, not even the sides, like really just the whole nose. Um, I keep having an issue with this foundation, really emphasizing my pores. It does only happen on my nose. So it might just be again, an issue with like clinging. That could be an oil thing. I'm not really sure. But for me, again, my main issue, oily T-zone, the sub issue was, you know, that pore situation. And the one thing with this foundation that has remained very consistent is that it does not like to be overly mattified. Like it comes with a beautiful soft matte finish and I would never take that away from it, okay? It looks gorgeous. And again, I, I think it looks very nice on the skin, but with this foundation, if you try to alter it or take it past the mattification that it comes with, it just really does not respond well. And I would actually venture to say whether that's with powder or primer, you need to be very careful kind of flexing it too far. So I guess just to kind of round out like my overarching thoughts here, I would say even if you're someone um, that has normal skin, combo leaning dry, or even dry skin, um, I do think you could make this work for you because I, what I feel like with this foundation is that you get the the smooth and kind of the appearance of that soft matte, but it really doesn't perform like a very, very matte foundation. Again, kind of like the kind that sucks that hydration out of your skin because I don't experience that at all and I'm more combo leaning oily. And so I think my only real caution for this foundation would be the people like me that need, you know, more powder. Maybe you need a more aggressive set because that's really the only area that I've struggled. But anyways, you guys, I think that that is everything. If I think of something that I missed, I will, of course, leave it in the description box. I would love to hear from you guys, too. If you were looking for this review, if you wanted to try it, you have tried it. If you have any opinions, um, be sure to leave all of those down in the comments. Like I said in the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. And of course, of course, go over and follow me on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. But you guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Buh, 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 what? Okay, I need my primer, which is on the floor. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a good luck, I'm sure. I honestly can't believe how bad my eyes are watering right now. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. What's that? What's that? What's that? Paige, you need to stop it right now. <laughs> Sissy, I'm trying to get it up close. I'm trying to get up close, baby. Oh, yeah, do you want your closer? Oh, oh, no, oh, come on. Not my foundation, baby. I'm testing foundation. You can't work Sissy nose. You can't work Sissy nose. It's not good. Oh, are you just a cute little girl that wants a snuggle bubble? I know. You know that? You are fresh. Oh, oh. You're back? Okay. Okay. Oh, ow, ow. Come on. Oh, ow, ow. I think you just ripped my hair out. Honey, bubbies. Oh, you got quite the. Huh. No, don't lick my makeup. <laughs>